G'day guys, how's it going? All right, welcome to the Biker Bits Garage where regular blokes have a bloody shot at uh, working on their bikes. We ain't mechanics, so this is just watching what we're doing. Kent has come over, Kent's a bloody crew member, and he's got his KDM 690, so we're going Team Orange in the garage. <laughs> Absolutely. So what year is this? 2019. 2019. So did you get that brand new? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool bit bananas. Of, bit of an adventure to get it. I had to go to Adelaide to pick it up. It was the last one in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, but, uh, yeah, no, I love it. It's cool. really good. All right, so we've got a whole heap of parts over there um, that we're going to get done. So we're going to run through that in a minute. And this may be a one part, two part, three part, depending on how quick we zip through all this stuff. How many coffees we need. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Right, eh? Rightio, so all the goodies are here. Simple one, pillow tops. I've got pillow tops on Max the DR650, but I've only got the half ones. These are the full ones. So once these are on, I'm really interested to see what the difference is on them. Because I don't think the half are really that much of an advantage, you know, the way that people talk about these pillow tops. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that's... No, I've got the full ones, but they say they do reduce vibration and your hands don't. Hurt as Heard much as at the much. end of the day. So. Yeah, cool. So that should be a quick one. In here, a little box here, we've got subframe bolts. So basically we're replacing the existing ones with these high tensile, whatever yeah. they are. Strengthening bolts. Cool. Oh, look. And I'll end up with a sticker. Brilliant. Right, eh? Um, air filter. So this big Kahua thing here, this replaces the stock, the whole stock. The whole stock air filter. And the reason for this is ease of use, uh, better airflow, and allegedly more horsepower. Oh, right. Cool. So when you need to change your, clean out your air filter, it's a whole lot easier to do it. It's two half turns and the air filter's off. Yep. And, the, and it just means that it also breathes way better because... A heck of a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can swap this, do this modification, and you don't have to do anything else. No, <clears throat> no, The ECU nothing else. will... The ECU will pick it up. Pick it up and whatever. Yep. Cool, all right, that's that. Then we've got this little dongle thing, magic, black magic, white magic, whatever you want to call it. So this, uh, what does it do? It's a fuel dongle. It plugs in and it um, richens up the bottom end because these bikes run very lean at the bottom end. So, and when they run lean, they run very hot. So right. it uh, makes the bike run cooler, but it also smooths out the bottom end. So, so when not, you say the bottom end? So from so one to three and a half thousand revs. Right, So yeah. it's, it's, it's still got plenty of torque, but it's more linear. Yeah, so not twitchy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Bullshit. Cool. Um, so it just looks like a piece of plastic. It, well, it is a piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah, so it's basic. This tricks yeah. the ECU. It tricks the ECU. Yeah. But it's a $40 piece of plastic. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't lose that. No, don't lose that. <laughs> um, you've got a pre filter sock type of thing for this air filter. Yep. Cool. And then we've got this, which is. Tell them what that is, because I can't even. That's, a, that's another rot wheel, oh. rot, rot wheel of product. Um, SAS. Emissions removal. Mm. So, what does this thing do? Uh, SAS, as far as I know, stands for secondary air system. Yep. So, basically, it's all the emissions junk that has to go on the bike so they can be registered in, in Europe. Oh. Uh, so, so, does that mean it's going to give you more power? Or Look, honestly, I don't know, but they do say that it makes the bike run smoother again. Oh, Less right. backfires uh, when you back off with aftermarket pipes. Yep. Um, and make, I think it makes it run a little bit richer as well. Yep. Which is, because they run so lean, they run hot. Yeah, so, right, cool. You know, <clears> and <throat> in Australia in the summer, you don't, no, you don't you, want to be running hot, hot at bike. all. Yeah, that's it. Right, so... Um, I'll put, do you have links to, where, where did you buy all this stuff? All from the same uh, place or? Rot Wheeler in the States, Rot Wheeler, Rot Wheeler, Rot Wheeler in the States. Perrin Moto, Perrin Moto are fantastic. They make a lot of stuff for the 
well, six nineties, seven nineties, and new eight nineties now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> aftermarket stuff. I've got a Perrin rack on the back. Where are they? Somewhere where they don't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> so you had um, to buy that overseas. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're really good. It's <clears throat> it's like a week to get here. They're, they are so oh, good, right. so quick, fantastic. Yep. And pillow tops from MX, MX store, store, I think twenty bucks. Yeah. Twenty yeah. twenty one bucks. Cheap cool. as. All right. So I should have flashed up all those. Oh, and I should have flashed up the prices. You'll be able to give me all the prices. I will. Yep. Cool. Absolutely. Beauty. All right. Just so, don't shame my wife. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Mrs. Kent, turn away. Turn away, absolutely. <laughs> right, hey, let's get into it. Right, hey, guys, so what we're going to do is just do these pillow tops really quick. We're not going to show the whole thing, um, but basically undo your bark busters. We'll get the compressor, which will show a bit of that. Getting that off, get a bit of hairspray, whack them back on. Bob's your uncle. Right, hey, so uh, these have got uh, the wires on them, so you just use the snippy tool. The one on that side there is a bit trickier, but you can get it. Oh, you did it in one shot. I took two <laughs> shots. Bloody ripper. Rightio, guys, time for the fun bit. This either works really easy or sometimes it's a little bit hard. What the hell? Oh, that's sealing it. Wow. Can you get on it? No, no, get it down that way. Oh, that's, wow, they're pretty cool, aren't they? They've got a big seal around it. <laughs> All right, screwdriver time. Short lookers. <laughs> Don't leave home without them. That's it. Oh, I see what I was doing. Yeah, oh, you've done a really good cut. Oh, no, this is factory, isn't it? They did a really good cut. Oh, the bark busters. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no, no, that was all. You didn't want these grips, did you? No, no. Right. There. Get him in there. Oh, not out there though. Around there. This is like liposuction surgery or something yeah. like that, isn't it? Hold that bar. Why the hell? Why have I... Shit! <laughs> We may have to cut them off, mate. Yeah. No, I think they're a they cut job, mate. That's a cut job. They might have, uh, they might have bloody glued them. They well could have. Right, eh? So, an old trusty bloody box cutter. We just got to watch when we do the other side, That's, the throttle side, yeah. that we don't. Um, Cut shit that we don't want to. There's no heated grips or anything, is there? Not now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no heated grips. I probably should have got some to put on before, shouldn't I? Before I put yeah. the pillow tops on. Doesn't matter. I'll just do it old school. Yeah, wow, look at that. Glue? Yeah. Not everywhere, but... Yeah, they certainly didn't want them to come off. Wow, ah, look at that. Wow. Yep. Right, hey guys, so we won't bore you that. We're just gonna bloody start cutting away and bloody mutton these things up to get them off. Cool. Right, hey guys, so that is all cleaned up. The, that side there, we're able to do that with the, um, the compressor. That came off pretty bloody good. There was no glue on it. So, uh, Make sure when you get the hairspray, you get the really good stuff. <laughs> not the <laughs> home brand. Yeah. Home brand. Not that I use it much, I have to say. When, I'm, when, I'm, when I say much, I mean never. Yeah. <laughs> right. There you go. Look at that. Like a bald like, one. Yeah. So we've got to cut the hole. Yeah, cut a hole out yeah. for the... Uh... But we'll get that other one on. Yeah, definitely. I think the guys like uh, watching this, I don't know why. I don't know if it reminds them of something. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Jeez, the garage hasn't smelt so good. No, absolutely. 
Now, are we going to get over this throttle body? Are we or what? I oh, guess we are. Yeah, nice. That. Beautiful. So, guys, once that um, hairspray dissipates, they just they just nicely stuck on there, but not too stuck on so that when you got to take them off to replace them, they still come off good. And it smells nice. Yeah, that's it. Righto. Righto, guys, so you can either use a box cutter just to cut it or a big drill piece bit. You're not in the way of the camera, are you? There you go. Beautiful. That should be enough for a bolt to go through. Yeah, we'll clean them up with a, with a knife. Yep. It should be good. Right, hey guys, to keep it real, the drill drilled the hole, but it doesn't cut it out enough, so you end up getting the box cutter and trimming it up to get the things to fit in. All right, and then now slot it in. Ken's just gonna do up all the bolts and that's gonna be a job bloody done. Right, hey guys, so job one is done. It's actually job two for us. We did have another, actually quickly show them what you are doing with that, um, the roto pack thing over here. Oh. So, yep. can you, so we've, what we've done is we've drilled all the way through, done a countersink mm. on the drill press. Now, tell them why you're doing that. You've got a roto pack. I've got a roto pack. This usually, had has threads here and it bolts onto another plate that bolts onto here yep. with four bolts in it. But once it's done, you can't take it. You can't. It's you've got to pull the whole thing off to take it off. Yeah. I saw a hack where you drill through these counter symptom, put long bolts through, and you can easily get to the nuts underneath. Underneath. So yeah. it's two nuts to take it off. So you don't. Yeah. Take your bum out on it when yeah. you're not using it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Bloody ripper. Yep, cool. So, All right. That was a hack I saw on YouTube. Brilliant. So that's our two jobs done. And I'll tell you what, you've picked the uh, the colours really uh, work well. The old KDM colours. Yeah, very, goes with the hairspray. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is the subframe bolt upgrade. So we have to start taking off bits and pieces. Got to take, what did you say? You've got to take that off? Got to take uh, the rack off. The fuel cap off, uh, this black plastic here, which is a bolt underneath, yep. under here. Once that's off, these two come off and see, and, yeah. and that should be enough to get to it for the fuel, the subframe. That's the one, subframe strengthening bolts. Beautiful, let's get into it. Right, eh? First thing is to take out these bolts here. This is where the grab rails bolt on. So we're going to remove those four. Right, so there's the bolt coming out. You've got a little silver duvalaki and then underneath there. There's a spacer. And a spacer and a spacer there. And a spacer. Does that spacer come out? Yep. It does. It does. It's just stuck they in do. there. They do. Tall bananas. And I'll give you this one. And this one. So we don't lose them. Or like that. Totally jumping spaces. Lovely. Cool. They all get put over here. Make them all nice and neat. Side on, well, this model of KTM, it's very technical to get the seat off. There's a little pull ring. Oh, really? Yep. Pull. Oh, I can, I heard the latch go. And up she goes. Look at that. Done. That's it to get the seat off. That's it to get the seat off. Brilliant. All right, hey, what's next? Loosen these two bolts, which are, what's them call it? Uh, torque. Torques. Yeah, I think these ones just loosen. I've got to take this bit of plastic off to get the fuel cap off anyway. All oh, right. From memory, there's not a lot of juice in it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just loosen them. They've got little spaces for these to slide onto. And they, obviously there's bolts to take these bits off as well. Yep. The side covers are pop, done. Brilliant. Same both sides. There's not a lot of screws to get to, you know, the easy stuff on this. 
So that's them off. Cool. So I need an 8mm socket to take this black plastic off. Right. So up under here in a hidey hole is an 8mm socket. That works better if you loosen it. Not tighten it? Not tighten it. It was a 50% chance I was going to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> One, eight mil. Beautiful. Ah, uh, where are we sticking all this? Yeah, you give those to on me. On there. Yeah. So now, this pulls back and off. Oh, and that's why you loosen those. That's why you loosen slight. those. Yeah, right. It's another bit of plastic. Plastic bikes these days. Yep. So now we need a screwdriver. And I think that's it for that side. There's something down the bottom. Is that a Torx? Does that black part come off or is that uh, separate? No, nah, I think that comes off as well. Right. And these do actually have to come out, silly mate. Oh, okay. Yep, cool. So, fuel, fuel cap. cap. One, two, three, torques. Oh, right. Okay, jeez. And try very hard not to drop them down the hole. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Not into the tank. Not into the tank. Right, oh, so yeah, when you're taking these out, you definitely don't want to drop those little screws in there. No, you do not. Oh yeah, little O-ring. And so you that... don't want any of that dirt, because that's, oh, that's your petrol right there, isn't it? Yeah. That is petrol right there. And this is, this was an issue with the older bikes that every time you open the fuel cap, yep. dirt went in anyway. So that's a redesigned one for 2019. Yeah. But uh, I'll get a rag and we'll clean that. I'll put some yep. uh, wax and grease on it. So just the, uh, the side screws. Side screws. And there's one's a screw, I think one's a screw down here. Or is that a Torx? I can't remember. No, it's a Torx. There's those. And I want probably the one I just didn't pick up. So it's black on this side and it's a different different colour on the other side. Don't ask me why. What do you mean what's a different colour? That's <laughs> the bottom screw on the other side, I'm sure, is a different colour. Oh, a different colour. Oh, no, that's a shit. This is junk. <sighs> yep, this one's... Yeah, it's got a, like a silver thing in there as well. Yeah. More toy, eh? Oh, must be missing one. Am I missing one? I thought I got it on those. Mm, something solid in there. Yep. Oh. Oh. No, I don't think there's one. I'm no, pretty sure there's not one. Must be clipped on. Oh, there's a um. There was a lip here that sits over all the way. Yep. So I think it comes that way. All right. Bit of brute force. Bit of brute force. The brute force normally can get you into trouble. Ah. <laughs> so that's a fuel tank. All oh, right. Yeah. Cool. And that is that both sides. No, no, just one side. Oh, just one side. Just one side. Right, oh, because you've got the exhaust, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But this whole subframe, which is basically plastic, is bolted here. Oh, so this is the subframe? That's the subframe. Oh, right. That's, it's bolted here. Yep. And one bolt 
There. Oh, yeah, I is see that it. Yeah? yeah, yeah, that's it. Through yep. there. And that's, that's it. Uh, it's the whole subframe of the bike. Holy shit. Yeah, wow. That must be very strong, um, obviously, the way it's moulded. and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. Yeah. Wow. So from memory, no, this has to come off. I'll have a look at the destructions in a minute. Yep. Um, so we're replacing these bolts here, that one there and the one down the bottom. That's yep. obviously the only two there is. Those two there and the long, Big long one pin bolt down the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah, all right, cool. Rightio, what do we got going on now? So, we've, so we have to... Oh. Now we have to... Well, we don't have to, but we're going to... Unplug the ECU. Yep. Please, come on, you little devil. There we go. Unplug it. Makes it a bit easier. We've got to take the airbox out to, so we can get to some stuff under the under it. That's so, the ECU. Oh, all right, yep. Um, that does all the uh, the goodies. That's it. The bike. So we'll pop that over there as well. Right. So why why we're taking we've taken that out, and we've, you said there's to get to. The airbox has to come out? The airbox has to come out, but for the airbox to come out, we need a bit of swinging room because it's got to come backwards and yep. out. So I took the ECU out just to yep. get the other and way. And then there's the, the, what do you call it, the fuel uh, quick release. That has quick to be release underneath, yeah. Yep, disconnected. So then we can swing this up, the whole tank yep. up a little bit to then be able to do these bolts. Yeah, the, the bottom ones and put the new bushes in, stronger bushes. Right, eh? But honestly, most of this bike, is just clip on clip on so oh. so obviously we've got to get this we've got to get these are the seat bracket mounts they have to come off that has to come off that has to come off and to make it easier for us we know, we'll take them off as well right. to try and get that out yep so cool let's have a little squizzy squeeze so these two seat mounts that we're taking as you'll see him take that off like that Apparently this is being discarded, correct? When the new air filter goes on, yeah, there's yeah. there's new brackets. Don't yeah, right. But we keep the, the keep nuts. Keep the nuts. Alright. Sorry guys, it's a bit of a mix because we've got so many different parts and as you know you've got to bloody take bits and pieces, so it's a bit all over the joint. Next thing is this. Now there's that's your toolkit. Oh, all right. Yep. Look. So good. if everything was on there, was there much to take off to get to your toolkit? Just that one snap off. Snap, snap off. Snap on white cover. Yeah. Cool. Really quick. Yeah. So they don't give you a bag that... I seriously need to get rid of that because I've got um, spanners for the back wheel anyway. Oh, right. And then yeah, this yeah, is yeah, shut yeah. a bit better. It just doesn't shut real nice. Yeah. So there's a sneaky one in there. Oh, gotcha. This side's got five bolts. And the yep. other side's got four. Brilliant. So, right. Rightio. So that side and that side black covers are off. So five screws, four screws. There they are there. They're not all the same when you're looking. Uh, most of them are on the side. And I think there's one that faces that way. So now you said we're getting these we're out. We're just going to take the seat mount brackets off just to give us a bit of swing and room for yep. the for the uh getting the airbox out it. yep all right so now we're taking the air box and the air box has a screw there to be undone a screw in there to be undone is that right yeah my point in the right spot then on this side exactly the same spot down here but you have to is that just a rectifier, isn't it? Is that what they yeah, call that I think so. Thing? Rectifier is hiding that one, so we have to get that one out there. Right. And hopefully that should be enough. Uh, uh, what happened? No, 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 I just need a bit of leverage. A little bit of leverage. Oh, I know, that. I do this every time. Yep. You've got to get it there. Yeah. Probably get in the right hole, it might help. That's got him though. The places dirt get, dirt and dust gets, just unreal. Yeah, crazy. So we're getting quite the uh, collection guys over here. Look at this, look at all the 
bloody plastic crap. Plastic fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The scary thing, uh, Kent, is you're going to know where all these uh, bolts are going. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Pro <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. So you reckon that should hopefully come out? Pretty loose there. Yeah. Look at those tools, out of your hands. I don't actually know what. what... Do we need to uh, go to the manual or? Yeah, I'm, we might or have a video to. Video or a YouTube bloody thing. Might have to YouTube it because I, I can't yeah. remember after those bolts because there's a lot of information to take in. Yep. Cool. So, we'll have a squeeze. We'll come back to you. Right, yeah, guys. So we've been watching the video. We have to take this hose off they said something about cutting something we didn't have to cut um, there are two screws and we need to take the hose clamp loosen the hose clamp off the throttle body it is off the throttle body off the throttle body but and then there's another one which you don't do because then it, it comes should come off with the air box yeah and the other one was the air sensor which may or may not come off until we get the air yeah, box out but it is loose it and then, yeah all right cool so it's all getting a little bit tricky. Rottweiler has a video on how to do every one of their parts. That's yeah, yep, yep. pretty much. There's, I don't think I've found anything that they don't have a video on, yep. apart from the SAS removal kit, which we've got, but I did find another video on uh, how to do it. Yeah, so, sweet. Cool. But everything else. So we're, this is just to give you an idea of what we're watching. And then we're also going to remove the electrical connections from the ECU. And Which, this is going to allow the air box to be pulled back a little bit further uh, than normal. You can cool. So we'll continue out. watching this bloke and make sure we get all the bits and pieces. Uh, just to um, and more then we'll come back to you. So this is the SAS doohickey marvellous thing that slows your bike down on purpose. But we've got to get this hose off here to get the air box out because it goes up under the underside of the air box. So, just need to get there a bit so I can cut it. And that is off. And then, if I can grab the little devil and pull it off, like that, we take this hose, which is a bit hard to see, off the top of that. And now, through the magic of television and swearing, uh, yeah. <coughs> the, uh, so if you're trying to do this job, our video is not going to be a step-by-step. -step airbox case. should just... They said it popped, didn't it? Popped, because it's probably still on the... Wow. Did you hear the pop? Yeah. <laughs> and we've just got this hose, hose to pull out. Yep. And this big one here. <laughs> there. And that is one air box out. Brilliant. And it ain't going back in. No. And that We'll make sure we give that a clean up is before we put it all back. The injector, and that's the fuel box of, sorry, the air box, which as you can see is quite large. Yeah. So I probably need that. I don't know yet, but we will check. Brilliant. Yep, beautiful. Righto, so where we took the um, bolt, or a bolt, there's been so many friggin' bolts coming off. You keep the existing bolt, but in the kit, there is a nylock nut, which goes into there. So that holds all that. Sweet. So we're going to do that on this, that side, and also on this side. So it's for that hole there. Also on the air box, um, this little thing here. What's that for? It's an air sensor, I think. That was in there. That has to come out and there's little O-rings. You can see the O-ring there. 
if that's in good nick it's okay but if it's not in the kit uh is an oh where is it there's an o-ring in there to replace it so that has to come off the air box to go onto the the new one well so far so good uh kent yeah yeah well we haven't dro <laughs> dropped any bolts down in the motor or anything yeah. yet, which is always a bonus yeah we've obviously put a rag nice clean rag in where the the fuel is What do you call it? The crankcase? Was it? Or is this the crankcase? I don't know. We you said the right hand side one, so yeah. I'm tipping that goes back up onto that breather. Oh, all right. On the, on the other side. So you've got to pull this thing out. You can obviously open it up, use your fingers on the inside or a combination, but just be careful not to poke a hole. Not to poke a hontus. And they reckon it's pretty tough. <laughs> Come on, you little devil. I just got to get it so I can. Or take the top off. Yeah, because there's a big thick rubber bit on the inside. Or take the top yeah. off. Yeah. Righto. Righto. That is the air filter. So my pre filter still didn't do a very good job. Oh. But never mind, but it is well oiled and well greased. Oh, it was. So, yeah. Uh... Oh. <clears throat> God, me, stuff me, that's hard. Yeah, well, the way he did it, he did it using the screwdriver mm. and your fingers. Mind you, he's using a new, new bike. Oh, it's got, yeah, it's brand new. Got no bloody grooves cut all over it. If I um, get that back in there, where is it? Are you able to? Okay. Are you able to give that a pull? Do you think? No. Oh yeah, yeah, hose. gotcha. All right, hang on. Put the guys down. <clears throat> Screwdriver back under the lip of it. Somewhere it's about there. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. Cooking now with there gas. It is, guys. That's <laughs> Brilliant. So, Ken was saying it was a real shit with this bloody filter. Mm -hmm. In Australia, uh, usually they come with a paper filter. In Australia, what they've done is gone with the, the uni filter, which is fantastic. But when you put it in, it's, well, it's going to make it fool me now, but it, it always pops out somewhere. I've yeah, got a ton yeah, of grease right. on it, so it's probably sticking. So these were very hard to lock in because this is where the ignition is, and you could never be sure if it was locked in properly. Uh, so it was right. a constant battle. Pooper valve moment on whether your air cleaner was going to work or not, yeah. for me, because the last thing I wanted was a belly full of dirt. In a brand new KDM. <laughs> That's it. So. Right, eh? Cool. So we've got that out. We'll have to uh, figure out the next step. Right, eh, guys? So now we're going back to doing the sub bolts. Let me bloody. So, next step. So it's a quick release for the fuel. Not so quick, but it's a release. Oh, come on. Why are you not coming out? Right, in. It hasn't got a, I don't know. Out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Right, so that's been released. Oh, so that's so that we can then move this up or yep, something. I've got to uh, just drop the exhaust bolt as well. All right. Yep, just this one. Oh, all right, yep. And then I think we're doing all right. Subframe reinforcement bolts. We're doing that bit there. 
Yeah. We've just done that bit there. And then we're going to loosen those off so we can, when we do take the bottom one out, we can pivot it. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we've uh, taken that exhaust one out. Just now these side bits. Loosen these top ones. So it's just a loosen. For now. Yep. These bushes, that's actually a, a rubber bush. Oh, right. And they say to check them, you know, whenever. But I think the whenever will be never, basically. Yeah. Unless it starts squeaking. So there, that's that. So now, we should be ready to do the bottom bolt. So it's one there with a nut on the other side. Uh, uh, so, no, or that, no? Where is well, that's yeah, just, no, no, yeah. That. So that's, yep. Just let me get the replacement. Ah, uh, yep. This one goes straight through with a nut. Right. The other one must have something, but we'll work it out. Yep. Righto, guys, so we're just taking these bolts out. Geez, they were in there nice and tight. Had to use a spanner on it. Oop. So that is just a single a single uh, bolt on this side. Is it? Well, that could be. It doesn't wide. go all the way through, yeah. No. So that's just exactly the same on that side there. Did that have one of those? No, it didn't. It was no, just... I know I've got to save this side one. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little uh, washer thing. Yep. Yep. We'll class that. There she blows. Yeah. Cool. So, that. Now, I don't know if we've got something to string this up with to hold it up while we do it. Oh, to hold the tank up? Yep, because the tank... Oh, lifts up like that. Like that, and you should be able to see the bushes and the pin that's in there. The um, hollow spacer thingy. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Here. Oh, that. That's oh. got to come out, and the other bushes go in. Right, okay, cool, gotcha. So maybe... Well, what we'll do is I'll just get a bit of wood and we'll put a bit of wood to wedge yep. in there. Or here, yeah, either or. Yeah. Yep. All right. Right. So, I'm going to push now. Push. Yep, go for it. I'm working that, which means... Oh. Yep, keep going. Nah, that's as far as this little duvalaki goes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not long enough. No, it's almost there. These bushes here come out. Well, we'll get them we in get, a Yeah, and we get the new, and they've got new ones to replace them with. Yeah, new um, plastic, harder plastic ones. Righto. So just using a screwdriver. There we go. She's out. One OEM yeah, beautiful. KDM Bush. So, yeah, so as I was saying before, I don't know if we've got it on tape. This whole subframe, plastic. Yeah, yeah. So, great for weight. Probably good for crashing, but the bolts of the through it are just not strong enough to, um, for larger loads for adventure riding. Yeah. Come on, you little cherub. Yeah, Nelly got it. Beautiful. Done. Beautiful. So that, that, and a couple of bolts up there are all that holds the bottom of the subframe on. See how this has started to get pitted and yep. a bit crappy already? If they're in there too long, they fuse in, and no matter what you do, you can't get them out. Oh, really? So, so what do you... So you, you can never... If it, if it breaks, you still can't get this out uh, because you've got threads for screws either end. Yep. So, we could do they do advise, it. well, this doesn't go back in, so which oh. is good, but they do advise that when you get your KDM, only it found this out, but nobody tells you, yep. that you pull this out and grease the living uh, right. daylights out of that one. Yep. 
Right, eh? So, so they recommend that you grease these up before you put them in, which I am now doing. Yeah, well, judging by the way those ones coming out, it'll be a bit yep. of a making going easy. Yeah, absolutely. Goes in there. Oh, that went in real easy. Yep. And one goes in there. Beautiful. Then we get our new pin. It's probably done it. Have a little bit of loving on that one That's as well. It. With the OEM washer that came off earlier. Oh, uh, right, yep. This pin goes in, then this bolt goes through. But we'll get this pin in first. And hope we don't push the washer out the other side. So. Oh, look at that. That was, that was nearly sexual. Perrin Moto. Toler <laughs> tolerance is perfect. So now comes the fun bit of pulling a bit of wood out, our chalk, lining the hole up and yep. do the deed. Alright. Oh, parent, it's an Allen key, not a heck, not a not a hex, uh torx. Not a torx, that's it. Minus that's right. half a point, mate. <laughs> Minus half a point. Alright, eh? So um, all right, let's see if I can do this. You just well, lift, I can lift that. it up. I'll take that out. Yeah. Oh, I can probably see from. Oh well, we need to get it. So, where's it hitting? Oh, it might be hitting. So we need to get somewhere around somewhere around. Does this tank lift up at all? That's in at the front. No, it doesn't. Uh, I'm not much help while I'm holding a fucking no, no. <laughs> camera. Look at that. I'm going to stuff the thread on it. So we've just got to get it out the other side, can you? Yeah, a whole heap of grease have come out. Has come out. Yeah, keep going. Look at that. Beautiful. Done deal. That's it. You've taken a bit of uh, KDM orange with it. Oh, what? <laughs> Comes in a can. Uh. So, just uh, put that, a washer, and a nylon nut. And now there's a particular torque on that? There is. There so is. We'll but I won't one. tighten that up yet because we're going to now do the top ones. Oh, all right, yep. So we're going to take these out, out here, check the, check the OEM bushes and replace the bolts. Right. Eh? But they're different than these ones. These ones just screw into here. Yep. The others work differently. All right, we'll see that in a minute. We will. So we've done the other side, guys, just so we knew what we are bloody doing. So we're just taking out this bloody stock one. Make Comes sure. out, have a look at your bush. Oh, it's all good, it's not split. Then, and you also, you were saying that basically all, it's just that little bit of thread that is threading into the frame. That's, that's it. Whereas this whole setup is, yeah. So yeah, that goes through and then that goes into that. So, so, that, so yeah, so you've got a whole lot more, haven't you? Supposedly. Yeah. yeah. Well, corn. It's a paramoto I do. And they've been pretty good with everything else. So I, that in there. I do believe them. And bolt threads through here. And of course it's tight. Yeah, gets real snug, which then means it's uh, which means I need, sorry, bit by bit. Swap Allen keys. Now these have uh, torque settings, these top and bottom. Yep. Which we will do once we get these all in. So how are we going to torque it? Do you have, do you have to torque it oh, off we'll just by put, using that? Just put a spanner on it. And, yeah. Right. Oh, well, yeah, probably. Or a big socket. You got a big socket that big? Yeah, I'll have a... Yeah, most probably. If not, then I'll so, do the age-old Australian tradition and guesstimate. Yeah, exactly. That's it. 
So that's it, just wind that in and hey presto, she's hey done. Hey presto. Because that one's just turning. Not that it matters. I, yeah. I, honestly, I don't think they're, they're going to come undone. And they say don't do too much, you could stress the stress the bolts on, on the, or the, um, the nut that's welded to the frame. Yep. No, I'm happy yeah. with that. My torque wrench doesn't go basically below 20, and the torque setting was 13. Between, what was it? Between 12 and 15. 12 and 15. So we were going to go 13 because it's lucky. Yep. Uh, so uh, screw this one in first, get that screwed in, and then screw that on. Absolutely. Just seems to be the easiest way of doing it. So the bottom ones have no torque settings, uh, which is this one here. So you've got the nut on that side and oh, an Allen head on that there. So we're just going to do that up nice and nice and snug. So they were, they were on pretty tight. Right, hey guys, so that has been just tightened up nice and tight. It's got a nylock nut on it, so that is all good. So that's the re-strengthening of the subframe. Done. Yes. But we've got a long way to go yet. <laughs> well, we'll um, rip off that. Uh, I don't think the airbox is going to take long once it's put together. Because yeah. basically it's just eight bolts. So we can maybe put that together and then do the emissions, the SAS kit. Yep. This one. And that way, we have, if we put this together, then we haven't got all these duvalakis hanging around. Yeah. All right, we'll just get into it. Righty, hey guys. So now we're doing the what is this thing again? SAS removal kit, secondary air system removal kit. Right, cool. <coughs> so we've just been having a look at a bloke doing this. So we uh, are going to pull that yeah. off. Oh, where are we? We'll get in on that. So yeah, this, so whack that, should just pull straight off. There like you go. That. Then we come around to the other side. <coughs> and now we need to take those two off, this cylinder duvalaki. Which I have no yeah. idea how to do them. <coughs> oh, yes I do. Maybe. And this whole cylinder, this bracket that holds that cylinder in there, I don't even know what this bloody thing does, but it just gets thrown away. Yeah. So I think that maybe that. Stabby, yep. stabby, stabby, sharp, sharp. Will they just pull off? <clears throat> no. Little devils. Somebody's most probably screaming at the at the uh, at the camera at the camera or the computer screen, computer. going, "No, no, this is how you do it. It's really easy." Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm finding it extremely easy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. No. Hang on, I, right. I need to leverage something. All right, so these are made by Bastards Incorporated. We've got one off. Oop. I'll just back up a little bit, I think. Yeah. There you go. So, these two hoses come off here. I don't, I don't think they get saved, so I'm not particularly pumping myself about length or anything. So yeah, do the twisty twist. Oh. There you go. That's a bit cooted, but I think I don't think that actually gets used again. Oh not right, yet. Yeah. Cool. And so then now that should just Oh you gotta undo that nut there to loosen it and then yep. it should pop so out. All this yeah, cylinders going and the bracket, we're gonna take the bracket all the way off and it gets thrown as well. So this as he said, it was a piece of shit. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Stay there, put that bolt over there just in case we want it. Now, this. Down there. Oh, that one, yep. Now I think there's a metal clip behind it. So 
how that goes. Yeah. Oh. And we will... Need a screwdriver there, or...? No, I think I can finagle it. Like that. That's it, little clip. No, so that use, no use leaving it on there. Junk. The least amount of uh, weight on your bike. Yep, that half a gram yep. could make all <laughs> the difference. So, now, we so, follow... So that's... We may have to do a bit of snipping of... All right. A bit hard to see. All right. So... So all that wire... That's the big hose, oh. and that's the little hose. And that's where we got to. So back to... Right, eh? back to having a look. Instruction 101. So this one gets pulled off the back of the one that we took off first. Yep, like so that. when we were first doing it, there was this hose that got pulled off. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see it wiggling in there. Yep. Now, on this side of it, if we can get it out, is a... What should we call it? What do you call him? A plug. A plug, all right. So yeah. we need to get this out somehow. So you're trying to get that cylinder thing out? Yeah, well, I've got to take the plug off it. So, oh, yep, all right. All right, that's the plug off it. So I don't know if you can drag that out from the other side. And I'll just drop it down in the frame like I did. Where did it go? It's down in. Yeah. <laughs> you little devil. Right down there, right eh? Oh yeah. Oh. Right eh? Oh. Use the force mark. All right, I've got it. Oh. Um, can you hold this camera? Just sure. take it off me. Can I get my hand in there? Yeah, I can. There we go. You got him. Don't drop him, Mark. Don't drop him. Cool. And more. What is officially called... Junk. Junk? All oh, right. So this one sits over here in the junk, the junk pile. pile. Now, there should be, but I'll check the video, a dongle that goes on that. All right, hey guys. This just gets bloody uh, convoluted a little bit, but it's just... Whenever you're doing this stuff, you just got to do it step by step. Go and watch a video. So that, that one, one, the big one, was we get rid of. We say bye bye to. Yeah. So we'll pop that up there with the junk. Junk. Next. We've got to keep this skinny one. Keep this skinny one. Next, we're down here on the on the, the boot. tank's breather hose. Is that mm, right? Something on like that. Yeah. There's a zip tie which we're going to break off. If you cut it, it will fall off. No, that's got him. So apparently there's another zip tie just up here, which I can see, which is good. All right. He's a... Uh, gotcha. Right. Right, so they're so, all loose. Now uh, we are around to here. Now, this was the end that he put the thing the in. The plastic thing in, wasn't it? Yeah. He, once he, he, he did oh, that after he pulled it out. That's right, he did too. So, we feed. There's a Y joint in there. There, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There, there it is. There it is. So we need to get this up through here, like he did. Didn't he? I think he did. He pull all this. Oh, he might have pulled that. Yeah, pull. Yeah. So oh, get your hand. He pulled. He came all the way back. Back in. round through yeah. here, didn't he? So push that that way. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah, spring loaded would be bloody good, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. That's the one I want. So, is that around that wire, is it? No, it's not, is it? Maybe on the other side of it, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, no, it's do. around this bloody thing here. Bloody brakes. Right, we'll get them. this Seriously. done. Come back. Right, guys, so we've pulled out this. That's the big, thick breather hose. Yeah. There's the little Y fucking joint. Right. This bit comes off here. Yep. So that was the one that went through to, to the that canister. canister. We then reinsert that in there to halfway, yep. which will cable tie in the future. We'll put that there. This bit now comes out here. We need to take this bit off. Yep, and do not let go of... Do not let go of that one. Apparently, because <sighs> it will go shooting back in and you'll bloody struggle to get it out. Just, toy is a toy gut. Do you want me to have a shot because I'm in a better position? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you, oh, hold, oh. you hold the camera. Hang on, I'll just get this petrol off yeah. my hands. That's it. Right. Now, do not let go of that, apparently. All right, and pop that, that in, in that. There. And we need a couple of zip ties to zip tie those two together. Cool. So, um, you me give me the camera. Yep. If you go over there... I'm going straight over oh, and pointing the camera. Yep. You'll see there's a whole heap of zip ties. I'll just put a couple of little placky blue ones on. I think should do it. Oh, and no, I put the use the black ones. They're better quality. Oh, it's some small. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're long. We can cut cut them short. Right. So where's it? Put as we say the short look is on. Yeah. All right. So that's one side. Inside, snuggy bugs. Yeah. That's the thing with having grandkids at home, mate. You use words like snuggy bugs. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we'll call that one tight as well. Cool. All right, we'll just let that. Beautiful. All right. So I'll just give them a um, haircut. Yep. <clears throat> Right, uh, back into it. So this thing with the Y piece and all that's got to get fed back in. And okay, that's now going to be just our fuel vent, I believe. Yep, back down through like so. And, and back down through there somewhere. Back down through and out the bottom. That's it. So it's just going to hang out the bottom. Yep. So we're going to get a zip tie. Zip tie it there, zip tie it there, cut the bottom off, and that's a job done for that bit. We'll come back to you. Right, yeah, guys, so from earlier, we plugged the uh, bloody bit of shit off that. Uh, so now this we... This dongle thing's got to go in there. Like that. Yep. And now we just leave that for the moment. Yeah, we'll just clean all that up and zip tie it when we take... This bit off. No, we don't have to take that off. Yeah, we do. Do we? Yep. Because this plug here, I think, is the one that gets the jumpers in it, the jumper. Oh. And the heat sealed. Oh, right, okay. And there's this hose here, which goes up to here. So this is the next bit. Oh, the, I mean, no, and we've got the other side oh, yeah, as well. Of course well. we do, yep. Yeah. So the hose that we took off, how you guys are going to ever bloody follow this, but I don't know, it might be a bit of entertainment for you. Yeah, so this hose, you can either put a stopper in it to block it off. Or, or up in it, or do that. And you see a little gold? There's a gold thing, if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, I can't find That bit. Oh, where are oh, you? Yeah, down there, right? See that? Yeah, there it is. That bit. That bit there, which goes straight into the body of the motor or whatever. Whoop, there it is. So we're going to pull that out, and then there's a piece to put back into it, which blocks it off. Yep. Cool. Absolutely. There and there. So that's come out. Oop. Yep, that one's come out. And this one's going back in. And that one there. When we put the copper washer on it. Oh, very good. Shit, I would have put that in without the copper that's washer. That's all right. Still would have gone broom broom. There it is. One copper washer. One copper washer. One extension. One unsteady hand, <laughs> and let's see here we go. So now we're pulling 
this highly technical piece of I don't know what it's called off and we're taking this cap off with this hose and that hose joins this highly oh, into that. technical yeah, piece of that I have piece. no idea what it's called. Yeah, cool. So that comes off like so. That comes out like that. So that has a plug on the bottom of it. Yep. Which we have to remove. I'll put the short lookers on. So, enlighten me. Which way does that come off? Up. Now, normally it's push. You uh, always think there's it's. There's one of these that you've got to yeah, lift, I know, lift up, and I reckon it's this one. Maybe it's the fuel dongle. I don't know, but we'll pull this off. This, this off anyway. After I get my spanner. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we've got we've pulled that this thing underneath here. That there. Yep. That bit's so, off there. Yep, and it's a push down to pull we it now off. Now cut this zip tie. Oh, with a big hose. With a big hose. Oh, left handed. Yeah. Off there. So now that pulls off that. Yep. That goes up in our... Rubbish pile. Rubbish pile. This bit feeds out through here. Oh, oh, got the camera. Sorry. That's all right. That, and hang on. So that piece that was on there, the two screws got taken out of that, or the bolts. That's right. So what happens to this? This goes in the rubbish yeah, pile. In the memorabilia pile. Yep. Out of your kit, you've got this here. That's going to go and plug all that up. Use the existing bolts, put a bit of Loctite on them. And then that gets put to there. Thank you, lock tight. Oh. Bit too much, but anyway, we'll do sharesy, sharesy. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Did that, oh, Jesus. That's Hang on. Coming. <laughs> it's all right, I've got magnet grabbers. So, right. take two. That's it. I'm not allowed to hold that thing apparently no, now. He's banned from holding the R. Uh, we'll just get that in there and get that in there and get that started, hopefully. Come on, you little devil. These oh. were not loose bolts either, they were tight as yeah. tight as tight. All right, hey, we'll come back to you once all that's on. Rightio, guys, so we've been watching. Oh, you go for it. Yeah, no, no. so now we've got to jump these. I'm pretty sure they're going that way. Like so. Oh. Like. Don't be obstropolis. Try this one first thing. Same size. Same. Yeah, they look identical. Yeah. All right, so it's just sissy fingers. Done. Beautiful. Done. That's jumped. Shrink wrap. All right. Eh? To, let's say, all right, there. Does anything else go in there? No. All right. That's it. We're just going to shrink wrap it. All right. Eh? So you start shrink, sh shrink wrapping. Just pull that thing down. Just push it down that way. Oh yeah. So we don't burn our fingers. I can go closer than that. Yeah, that's it. Get on it. Right. So um, when we oh, let me just say we've hit a bit of a. Uh, when we took that piece out of underneath there, we noticed, and I've looked back on our, our footage, we had the pipe on there, 
there doesn't seem to have been a pipe on there and we don't know we can't find a pipe that or hose that would go on that um, and in the video with the guy there's a tube that comes down a hose and it's not the bloody crankcase breather hose uh, that he cuts and plugs and the kit comes with the little plug but we are absolutely befuddled as to where that pipe is we can't find that pipe we have looked everywhere so we're not too sure about that bit <laughs> so Rottweiler didn't even have instructions. No, not for this. For everything else they do. Just not this, which is really, yeah, weird. <whistles> Holy shit, guys, we found them. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There it is there, hanging on the bloody air box. So this comes out, he said the hose comes out, maybe this is the one we've got to put back in. Oh, because we did pull one out of that, so, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we'll just have to check because there's only one hole in the bottom plate. And I don't know. Because we pulled that one out. Yeah. And I'm sure he said the right hand side, but maybe it's the right hand side. Well, ha I'll have a look at the video when we when he does it. That's yeah, because the guy, this we, this is this is because we're doing multiple bloody things. So this was for the airbox conversion yep. instructions we were watching. Mm-hmm. And the bloke that's doing this mod bloody thing obviously has a stock air box which has that hose. Correct, yep. Amundus? Correct. So we have to figure out. I don't. Th I think that hose just stays there, and I don't think it goes back in there because no, if it gets be blanked off there, then what's the point? Exactly. So, so with this new air box thing that we're going to be doing, they're, they're gonna tell us to block that top hose that doesn't have a hose on it at Probably, the yep. yeah. So, executive decision done, sold, beautiful. So we'll just continue along our way. <laughs> Rightio guys, you might be hearing a video playing, but the, uh, the what do you call it? That uh, jumper thing that he did, and also that bloody uh, dongle that went onto that cable has just been tucked away in there, and that's a done deal for that. So is that, have we done everything and now we're onto the airbox? Oh, I think we're onto the airbox. Cool. I think. Yeah, so <laughs> we've only, we've just got that one hose, which we don't think, yeah, no, that's all right, cool. It's a bit of a rush. I've got to go to bloody tea at 6.30 tonight, uh, birthday tea, and he's gonna get in trouble from his missus because it wasn't a couple of hours job. Mm. <laughs> Pretty much. So guys, sorry, as I said, we're bloody, we're <laughs> flat out trying to get this done. So having this um, air filter bloody mod thing, we've been putting it all together, haven't been showing it. It's now got his bloody bag whacked in there. We're starting to put all the bits and pieces, uh, the shrouds and stuff back on, which, and then on some stage, we're gonna have this going on there. Um, shit happens, and I just can't film everything sometimes. Righto guys, so we're getting some of the fairing and all that stuff back on. Uh, we're putting the oil filter. We haven't oiled it. He's just got to drive on a little bit of tarred road to get home. Um, ECU's been put back in. Uh, these extra little mounts have been put on. Everything is going smooth. We Did think. you watch how he said to do it? There's a locating um, underneath, yeah. underneath yeah, it. Yeah, I got that. Oh, you got it, yep. Yeah, I love those quarter turn things. They're bloody brilliant. It's a bloody time saver. That is one air filter. And that's it. It's, on a it's positive on there, isn't it? There's no there's no messing around. There's no, no ooh, did I get it on, is it? Yeah. No. Nope. That's it, baby. Right, eh? So what we'll do right now, because that's it, we've got everything done. Well technically we? it should start. Oh, I'll try and start it. Lost my keys. No, I haven't. Uh, what haven't. about your petrol cap? Do you need that on? Nah. 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 I don't think so. I just have my keys. I have lost my keys. Here. Oh, I found my keys. 
There they are. Don't panic. <laughs> well, technically it should start. There's nothing yeah. else unplugged. There's nothing. No. Moment of... of we, uh, oh, we don't want to do the thing and run it for 15 minutes for the reset. That's up to you. If you've got time to do it, do it. No, I I'll, can do it at home. That's fine. All right. Well, that's a positive. That's a positive. Bloody ripper! We didn't wreck it. No, well, I don't think we did. And honestly, the rest of this stuff does not take long to smack back on. Yeah. All right, cool. So what we're going to do, Kent... Righto guys, hope you enjoyed that. Sorry we couldn't go through the whole bloody step by step, but remember we're not mechanics anyway. No. You just kind of, we're hoping that this gives you, um, well you see us having a bit of a go and you reckon oh, I could do that. If these blokes could do it, I could give it a shot too. And then you look at the professionals' websites and go through it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean there was a few odd little bits and pieces, but there was yeah, no there, real nah, there, head. There was some weird, a few little weird bits, but we worked it out. Yeah. Like losing that hard. No. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Panic attack. Yep, that's but, it. Uh, no, nah, all good. Cool. Righto, guys, remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on. Cheers, guys.